I don't think I appreciated how sick Benjamin was. Like, you feel helpless as a parent because you, you know, you're used to taking care of your child and doing all these things, and then to see him just kind of go into respiratory failure and go into cardiac arrest, like you're just kind of standing there and you can't. You can't comfort them. Yeah. You can't. But it was so scary, and I would. It, I was so scared, and it was really heartbreaking just to see his little body like that. It was hard. It was the hardest thing I've ever had to go through. The reason why PQ Liberate is so important to implement is because we're seeing an emergence of side effects of critical care that we didn't understand before. To me, this is a public health crisis because we're not aware of it. Physicians and nurses and doctors are not aware of what happens to a child long after they leave the PICU. Children are leaving the PICU with morbidities, meaning side effects that affect their function, their ability to integrate back into their home and their school and their lives, their quality of lives at home. We can improve our care that not just helps a child survive, but we can implement a quality improvement initiative, which is PICU Liberate, that helps these children recover and rehabilitate, starting on day one within the PICU, that's sustainable long after they leave the PICU. Since implementing PICU Liberate, the uh, care we provide in the PICU has completely changed. It's not what you would normally think of in a PICU environment. Uh, during the day, we wake up our kids, we let them be awake, we let them have play therapy and do rehabilitation activities, have fun, interact with their families and their care providers so that we can really understand what they need and want. And then at night, we protect their nighttime sleep by shutting down the lights and providing night lights because we recognize that sleep is a very important part of getting better. So we have changed the way ICU life looks and we've created healing within the ICU. I think the Liberate uh, process has been great for him. It, getting him out of sedation, starting to do stuff with him has been great because it can give us a glimpse of you know, our child. He responds well to the Liberating. It's something to provide some comfort, some reassurance of there's still some routine there and, and Benjamin responds well to that. As the physiotherapist in the pediatric ICU, since the implementation of the Liberation Bundle, I've seen such an amazing culture shift in that the entire team is on board with getting our patients awake and moving as soon as we safely can. Critically ill children used to just be left in bed and maybe the physio would come in to move their arms and legs a little bit for them. And now we're able to get kids out of bed, actively playing, walking around with all their lines and tubes like I say, that would never have been able to get up and do that previously. I think the bundle has really brought the team together and really optimized the strength that we each have. And then collectively, we're able to provide very cent patient-centered care and uh, come up with goals that are specific to each patient each day. We review those goals every day with the family, and there's a lot of communication, collaboration between all of the members. So it has made our team quite tight, and we really thrive on the collaborative approach that we provide and that we ensure that everybody's on the same page. PQ Liberate, it's so important is because most critically ill children will survive. What's important to them and what's important to families is how they recover long after they leave the ICU. PQ Liberate addresses that. It helps the child recover from day one within the PICU that makes an impact long after they leave the PICU.